This is going to be a fast delivery from Ramrod Key to Fort Myers Beach. We got off on a good time in the morning. We came down a long one mile canal, slow way, before we got to the markers that showed us how to get out of there. But sadly, these are the last ones we saw in this cave. It's about 60 miles across Florida Bay to East Cape. Once we got there, we were lost because we didn't have a charge for that leg of the trip. Someone had left it off the boat. It's almost sinful to admit that we stopped and asked for directions, but we had to. Once pointed in the right direction, we found Flamingo with no problem. That's beautiful Flamingo Lodge. The entrance to Flamingo is small, but it's well marked. And we came in without a problem. Right up at the fuel dock, where we ran into an old friend of ours, Captain Manny Lee. He's the manager of the marina at Flamingo Lodge. Now we're preparing to get lifted over the barrier, or dam. They use a rail mounted sling lift, and it picks up boats up to 26 feet. It's just a short distance across the barrier, and then they set you back down on the fresh water side. We had never made this trip across this portion of the Everglades and we were looking forward to going through some nice fresh water and seeing a lot of mangroves and wildlife. It's no wake in the passes between the bays and you can understand because there's a lot of fishermen in there. In the summer of 2003 there was no speed limit on the bays. Slow wake in the passage, but that may change very quickly because the park is considering putting on speed limits throughout the entire journey. Despite a beautiful forecast, the weather turned against us. After we left Little Shark River, the gulf was just too rough, but a beautiful sunset did greet us as we came into the backside of Fort Myers Beach. We had a great time coming through Whitewater Bay, Flamingo, and the Everglades National Park. We doubt we'll ever do this open water portion of this trip again in an 18-foot tunnel haul boat because it beat us up. <laughs>